MadKids101 here today. We're going to show you another few simple terminal tricks. The, the commands I'm going to be teaching you today allow you to write a text document. They allow you to switch users and substitute a user do. So first of all, let's teach you how to make a text document and how to edit a text document. First of all, I'm going to be demonstrating this on my desktop, so I'm going to do CD desktop right here. And now I can see what's on my desktop, and you'll notice that is accurately correct once again. And there's my desktop. So let's type a command nano, which is actually a word processor, space, and then a new file name. And if it has spaces, we do the file name in quotes. So Dave was here. So now, inside of this, we can use the arrow keys to move move around, and we just type random stuff and do whatever. Dave was here. And now, you'll notice at the bottom, there are some keystrokes, which you'll see. And there is a little arrow before the letter. That means control. So exit, in this case, is control X. We're going to type control X to exit nano. And when we do that, it'll ask us if we want to save changes. And Y for yes, N for no, and control C to cancel. In this case, we do want to save changes. We click Y for yes. And now we just hit enter here. It's asking us what the file name is. So we type Dave was here and hit enter. And now we can see on my desktop there's a file called Dave was here. And we can open that up, and that's what we typed. So that's Dave was here. Another thing we can do is um, we can nano a file that already exists. Like, hi, Bob is right now on my desktop. That was from a, uh, another thing. Um, so we're going to type nano space and quotes hi, Bob. Now we hit enter. And hi, Bob, I'm Joe. <laughs> Anyway, we can move around the arrow keys and do con and let's just type stuff. Control X to exit. No, we don't want to save. And so we can open it up, and that's definitely what it says. We can do a cat of our files, like cat Dave was here instead of nano Dave was here to just read a file. And it's correct right there. It says Dave was here. So now what else we're gonna do, and I'm gonna be showing you, is um so we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to um, switch users now in order to switch users you type su space and then a username so to switch users to Alex I type su space Alex then the password for Alex now I'm logged in as Alex and I can type who am I and it shows me my username right there I can type PWD and I'm in Alex's home directory on the desktop and I can type exit to log out as that user and go back to the last user and um, so now I can type sudo, which is another command. It means substitute user do space who am I. And that's going to ask me for my password for the current user that ran sudo. I type that, and then it says root. Even though I'm logged in as Alex right now, I can just type who am I, and I'm Alex. So what sudo does by default is runs a command as root. Now, if we want to, we could also make sudo run a command as some other user. So we can type sudo space dash u. And then space, um, let's do guest. And it'll run the command as guest and say guest. And who am I? Like, I might have told you this, just displays your username. And so that's very useful. Now, um, another thing which I've already been doing is the up and down arrows go through past commands and down goes to the next command and up goes to the previous command. History will display, if you type history, will display all the commands that you've ever done, like right here, and it numbers them. And um, history dash C will um, clear your history. But I don't want to do that because I have some stuff which I want to keep in my history. So, now, um, what we're going to do is I've showed you how to do that. Another thing I'll just explain real quickly, and you don't really have to listen to this, is the um, file system. And I'll actually have a separate video on this. 
And so you'll notice that to see all the users, you do ls slash users. That's because all the users' home directories are in slash users. So every user on the computer that's an actual user and not the guest user has a little folder in slash users that has all their stuff. So if you just type su with no username and then type the root password, which in my case is long, um, then you can type ls space slash users and then you can do slash alex and then you can read what's on my desktop without having to be logged in as me because root has ultimate permissions you can also use sudo su root which is sudo and that runs the command as root su root and what sudo does you know like i said is runs a command by default as root and root can su to any user without the password so if we run su root as root then it will log us in as root without needing a password so if you haven't set a root password it'll log you in as the root user sudo su root and you might have to type your password before you do sudo because that's that's standard sudo but now i can type who am i and i'm root and i can type exit to log out so um and yeah so that's basically um everything i have to show you for today if you have any questions uh leave a comment in the comment box and um uh for more terminal lessons because this is actually terminal lesson two go to macheads 101 on youtube so it's youtube.com slash macheads 101 to see more information about computers we have a lot of videos um so uh thanks for stopping by goodbye